Good morning. Good morning, Father. Upon a lofty throne I saw a man seated, whom a host of angels adore, singing in unison, Behold him, the name of those in fire is eternal. I think I didn't turn that microphone on. It works so much better when you turn it on. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. testified somewhere, What is man that you are mindful of him, or the son of man that you care for him? You made him for a little while lower than the angels. You crowned him with glory and honor, subjecting all things under his feet. In subjecting all things to him, he left nothing not subject to him. Yet, at present, we do not see all things subject to him, but we do see Jesus crowned with glory and honor because he suffered death. He who for a little while was made lower than the angels, that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. For it was fitting that he, for whom and through whom all things exist, in bringing many children to glory, should make the leader to their salvation perfect through suffering. <clears throat> he who consecrates and those who are being consecrated all have one origin. Therefore, he is not ashamed to call them brothers, saying, I will proclaim your name to my brethren in the midst of the assembly. I will praise you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be your response? You have given your Son rule over the works of your hands. O Lord, our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? You have made him 
little less than the angels and crown him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the sea. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to Capernaum with his followers, and on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teachings, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? You have come to destroy us. I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him, and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. We have Jesus in teaching in the temple, and right in the temple there was a man with an unclean spirit, which is the Hebrew way of saying he was possessed by the devil. And the devil doesn't want anybody preaching the word of God, preaching salvation, no. And so, where did this devil appear to Jesus? In the temple, of course, that is, in the church. The biggest ones are in the church, trying to put a stop to whatever should be. And Jesus cast him out, and uh, taught with authority. In this uh, exchange here with the devil, the devil says, I know who you are. And he calls him the Holy One of God. You know, in the Hebrew mentality, if you knew somebody's name, it gave, gave you power over that person. And if you really think about it, to some extent that's true. If you know a person's name, you can at least get their attention. You have power over them. And so the devil knew who Jesus was and he tried to call his name so that he would have power over Jesus. But Jesus wouldn't have any part of that. And he rebuked him, said, quiet. And in Hebrew, they say the term is shut up, be quiet. And of course, the, the unclean spirit came out of him. The enemy of God and the enemy of the gospel is not the people in the church, it's not even the world. The primary enemy that we fight is the devil himself. 
you'll do anything to stop what is good and the pro proclamation of the, the, the Savior. This teaching authority is uh, what is attacked by the devil. There are too many people, even in the church, who allow the devil to get the upper hand in their lives and cut corners and put a stop to people hearing the word of God with authority. And so I think it's appropriate that our prayer to St. Michael that we continue that. We now bring our petitions to the Father who hears our every word. For Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and deacons, may the Holy Spirit enkindle the fire of his love in their hearts as they preach the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. For the world, may the Lord have mercy on the suffering and trials of all people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are so deeply affected by the coronavirus and its resulting social, economic, and physical destruction, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of believers, May the Lord defend us from the influence of evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, marked with a sign of faith, may they be reunited in glory with Christ, our Savior and brother. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all of the sick and those who are suffering in our families and in our parish family here. We ask God to be with them and heal them, give them comfort and his peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for unity in our country and in our world, that we learn to listen to one another and work together for the good of all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of our young people, that they learn to recognize the wiles of the, the enemy and that they recognize when the enemy is calling their name. For our young people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, as you once heard the prayers of your Son, Jesus Christ, hear now our prayers and petitions through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth is given in human hands and made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord, 
May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fault of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gerald our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be.
With you, O Lord, is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. Who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of the soul. 